this is a Raymarine Quantum 18 inches. Uh, the total diameter is 21 inches. But this is what they call the 18 inches uh, quantum wireless and wired uh, radar. It's a quantum radar. I'm going to install this on my power boat. And um, here's the template. And I'm using a chopping board. Chopping board as uh, something in between my PVC pipe, the two inches uh, big PVC pipe, and uh, this this base of the quantum radar. And there's the template. I tape the template onto this uh, board, chopping board. Um, yes, yes, I got uh, permission from my um, to use this uh, chopping board. So that's one hole. Two holes, three holes, four holes, five holes. So I'm gonna drill these five holes and then mount the screw onto this board. And this board will then be mounted onto the PVC pipe. Okay, so that's how this thing is supposed to work. The PVC pipe I bought two 10 feet, um, two inch in diameter uh, PVC pipe. So it's pretty big and pretty heavy. I'm gonna put, cut it into uh, six inches, and I'll show you my design in a few minutes. Well, it's gonna be in the um, video. Okay, I'll show you a picture of it. So that's uh, what I'm doing right here. I'm using a small drill bit, smaller drill bit that's much smaller than the intended a drill bit to drill pilot holes for um, of these five holes. Once I'm done, I will use the right sized uh, drill bits to drill this hole. Okay, so that's what's happening. Make sure this uh, switch is in the um, forward position instead of the reverse position. Um, I always forget to check it. Anyway, so here we go. Oops, but whatever. Done, two more to go. one and then we'll see the damage there is the let's rip this open and see what happened there Hopefully everything is cool. Okay, looks pretty good. Well, except this one cracked. Shoot. The other ones looks pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah, the other one looks pretty good, except that one looks cracked. Oh boy. This one looks good, this one looks good. This one looks bad. Cracked it. Okay, so I'm just gonna be real careful. And uh, already marked, uh, already drill holes, one, two, three, four, and five. This is the front of the uh, mount. And uh, right now I'm going to mount uh, this board. I'm going to drill holes. And then quantum radar is going to mount it through these four holes uh, onto this board and sit on top, uh, which connects to a rectangle uh, shape. This is the two inch uh, T. It's going to connect to the T, two inch PVC pipe here and here, and then go down. So this. of six feet tall from my, from my, of my boat and uh, this is how it's kind of done so I'm going to drill hole here and also here through this PVC pipe and uh, put a screw through here and mock it um, um, uh, down below uh, the screw um, will be locked it down below. And connect this. I'm going to cut a PVC pipe two inches this way for three feet and this way for three feet and then go down um, so that this is a um, seven seven because this is about one foot so about seven feet wide um, radar arch. And I have four elbows, 90 and I'm going to create um, um, a rectangle shape underneath the radar, and then the radar is going to sit on top of it. The quantum radar is going to sit on top of it. Okay. pipe going there, pipe going here. This is going to stand up at uh, six inches tall. Clear the height um, of, um, you know, a person, maybe six foot five inches, um, just to be sure, so that everybody, all my guests, uh, even if uh, they're six foot tall, they will not hit the, um, hit the Raymarine Quantum radar. Um, Bump, into, bump their heads into this uh, Raymarine quantum radar. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to um, drill a hole through and mount two screws. Um, one here, one here. 